It is finally over. The Jack Eichel saga is finished. He was finally traded this morning to the Vegas Golden Knights. The full trade is Jack Eichel and a 2023 third round pick. They really had to add the third round in there. I don't know. To Vegas in exchange for Peyton Krebs, Alex Tuck, a 2022 first round pick and a 2023 second round pick. That is the official trade. That is all. Man. So now we are going to plug it into NHL 22 and we'll see if the Vegas Golden Knights have what it takes to win the Stanley Cup. Let's go to edit lines. Now for this sim, we turned off injuries. We turned off trades. So this is like a pure simulation of where each team is at. It's going to give us Jack Eichel on that first line, which I mean, yeah, yeah. He's probably your first line center now, assuming he's healthy because Jack Eichel healthy is a top 10 center in the league, probably. I would say so if he goes back to, you know, everything that Jack Eichel can be. I, I feel like he can be a top 10 center in the league. So let's go. Now, unfortunately, we have to simulate a full season with Jack Eichel in the lineup. I know, I know it's not perfect, but here's the thing. NHL 22 doesn't let you put a timed injury tag on a player until a certain day like 2k does so we're just gonna have to, to to make do here because it's either that or i plug them into a playoff mode but if i plug them into a playoff mode then i have to editorialize and add the teams that i think are gonna make the playoffs and then that becomes the topic of the video so you know what instead of doing that we're just gonna go ahead and let nhl's simulation engine which is oh so good i'm i'm capping i'm cap i'm just playing make the decision for us vegas starts 0 and 7 oh my goodness okay wow before uh before vegas completely farms in here i need to know buffalo fans what do you think of this trade it's finally over i i personally think y'all got fleeced a little bit but maybe you have a different opinion than me i felt like buffalo really ruined their leverage and ended up getting a much much weaker package than they would have previously but it is what it is. And Vegas fans, what do you think about this? I know y'all like Peyton Krebs. I know Peyton Krebs was the big holdup and the reason why this trade took so long, which I don't really understand because Peyton Krebs is going to be really good, but I don't see his ceiling as being as high as Jack Eichel. But it is what it is. Let me know what you think. Losing Alex Tuck, obviously Tuck is a good NHL player. And then Peyton Krebs, who is a really like A-tier prospect. Let me know if that's cool with you, obviously, with the first round pick, but you, you knew you were going to give up a first round pick, and it's it's Vegas, baby. Okay, if they, if they have the success that they think they're going to have, then that first round pick isn't really going to be much. But according to this, we have a whole 42 wins for the Vegas Golden Knights, 10 overtime losses, and that is going to be good enough to make the playoffs. Jack Eichel, fully healthy for this season, 78-point guy, 45 goals. I feel like that's kind of fair, actually. I feel like that's, yeah, like I, I maybe would see a few more assists for Eichel, but I feel like that sim engine kind of being pretty accurate as far as his stats go. Like I said, a little, a few more assists would be ideal for me, but here we go. The playoffs. We made it. Jack Eichel made it with the Golden Knights. And here they are facing the Vancouver Canucks. You can see the rest of the playoff tree at the bottom right of the screen. Toronto made it. Hey, hey, cool. Can you get out of the first round this year, though? Nah, that's a topic for another day. First round against the Vancouver Canucks. Can Vegas make a deep playoff run? We're about to find out. And it's going to be... Oh, my goodness. They're down one and two. They are down one and two in the first round. They are down one and three to the upstart Vancouver Canucks. I say upstart just because of their age. And they're going to make it interesting. It's three to two in six games. Are they going to fall in six games? No, they're going to make it a game seven. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. You know what? We're going to slow sim it just for the sake of if Jack Eichel goes absolutely off, it's going to be hilarious. First period of play, they do have a 1-0 lead. Second period of play, it's 1-1. One one. Come on, slow sim this thing. Give me a Jack Eichel Game 7 game winner, please. Just just for the video. Hey, hey, hey. It's not Jack Eichel, but we'll take it. 3-1 for the Golden Knights. And now we're going to quick sim it. Boom, that's how the game ends. Shout out Vancouver for making it a seven game series, but y'all kind of farmed it once you got ahead and you're going to need to move in the first round. Nashville making the second round. That is uh, interesting. Interesting to say the least. Can y'all move? Can y'all move for Jack Eichel? Like, I don't think I don't think y'all understand how much you need to, to not even be here 
in, in the simulation okay w's come on come on close the series out there you go third round for the vegas golden knights and this makes a little bit more sense they're taking on the colorado avalanche and out east it's pittsburgh versus tampa bay which kind of funny kind of funny pittsburgh is one of those teams where they look like they're out and they're not going to be making it but it's always weird because they have Sidney crosby and he's pretty good at stick puck so uh him going up against tampa bay yeah that kind of makes sense all right let's see what happens here against colorado conference finals after the first two games it's a whole one-to-one -one score come on now come on game three it's gonna be a l nathan mckinnon coming up clutch in this matchup of number one centers and there's another w though making it two to two all right all right all right i respect the hustle and it's three to two for vegas baby are they going to force game seven or are Vegas moving on to the conference finals or the Stanley Cup finals? They do. And they're going against the Pittsburgh Penguins. Oh, man. What a what a great simulation. This is just, just, just giving me more freaking runtime for my video. I am here for it. 12 goals in 19 games for Jackery Eichel. And he has 18 points in those 19 games. And here he is taking on Sidney Crosby in the stanley cup finals come on now come on what a story this is first two games they split them one to one okay okay this is gonna be huge here game three it's gonna be won by vegas and they have the lead come on it's a two to one series for vegas two to two sid wants one more stanley cup this is a huge game five let us slow sim it let us slow sim it why not first beer to play Ooh, explosion of offense for the Vegas Golden Knights. Five to one after two, it's five to one. After three, Pittsburgh tried it, but that's gonna be five to four. Vegas takes home game five, and they are now one win away from the Stanley Cup with Jack Eichel. I can't write this shit. I cannot write this shit. You see how quickly I uploaded this video after the trade happened? You think I had time to do this more than once? Hell no, this is our first attempt at it. Game six in Vegas. Can they win the Stanley Cup? First period, up one zip. Second period, one to one. We're going to slow sim the third. And guess what? We're going to hop in there if need be, baby boy. Because we're trying to see Jack Eichel lift the Stanley Cup. Man, that would be some hell of a story, eh? If he just went to Vegas, got his trade out of there finally, and then boom, Stanley Cup. Come on now. Come on now. It's one to one. It's late in the game, and we're going to overtime, which means that I'm going to have to take a whole lot of time watching this, which is unfortunate because I'm, I'm really trying to upload. Look at Jack Eichel. Re-energized Jack Eichel. Now that he's on a competitive team, he's swinging down the right side. He goes to the middle. That would have been fantastic if he set up the game winner for the Stanley Cup, but that's off the iron. Oh, oh, Pittsburgh with a terrible play. The rebound, they score! And the Vegas Golden Knights are going to win the Stanley Cup on their second line's game-winning goal. Pittsburgh tried to exit the zone along the wall, and they seen it coming. Good interception, and Jack Eichel brings the Vegas Golden Knights their first Stanley Cup. Unbelievable. Like I said, I can't plan this shit, but the sim engine seems to think Jack Eichel is enough for a Stanley Cup in Vegas. You let me know if you agree with that or if you think it's going to take a little bit more. Personally, I think it might take a little bit more, but you never know, man. Vegas, Vegas is one of those teams when they get into the playoffs and they get that magic rolling. Adding Jack Eichel to the team just might work. I don't know, man. I don't know. Who got the con Smythe, though? That's what I'm trying to see. Did Jack Eichel get the con Smythe, or are they going to go Mark Stone? Perhaps a goaltender? I don't know. I don't know. We're about to find out. It's going to uh, it's gonna be neither. It's going to be Max Pacioretty. Okay, fair enough. Shout out to the Stanley Cup Finals patches that are just halfway there on the home jerseys. That's, that's awesome. That's great programming. Come on down, Mark Stone. Lift that Stanley Cup, baby. Who is he going to hand it off to? That would be hilarious if he gave it to Jack Eichel, but we're about to find out. He... Ooh, Dobbs for the Vegas Golden Knights. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section what you think of the trade, what you think Vegas's chances are. And no, it's not going to be Eichel with the Stanley Cup. That's unfortunate. But can he be the third one as we skate over the carpet? Can we? Can he be the third one with the trophy so that he does like 68 laps 
around the ice with it and holds onto it forever. That does not look like Jack Eichel. I don't think that's him. It is Petro. That makes sense. So there you go. Vegas Stanley Cup champions because of Jack Eichel, according to EA Sports. Don't blame me. Blame EA Sports if you disagree. But that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hook your boy up. Punch the like button in the face. Spend a hell out of it. Comment, subscribe. All that good stuff, man. I'm out. Peace.